This is my bag of tricks. It's my cat sticker collection. I've got a couple camera bodies, a bunch of lenses, a whole bunch of toys, lint roller, band-aids, cat treats, a whole bunch of catnip, and we're talking a whole, whole, whole bunch. Braze. Everything you need. Hi there, I am here with my good friend Erica from Erica Likes Cats. She's a professional pet photographer and she is here today to tell us some tips. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, we're gonna get you able to take the best possible photos of your little kitty or your puppy or your bunny or whatever you've got. We have Erica Danger's top five photography tips to turn your pet into an Instagram superstar. Pew, 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 pew. So Erica, everybody thinks that their pet should be a superstar, but does every pet really have what it takes? Of course they do. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks today to get the best possible photos of your cat and then uh, talk about how to incorporate that into your social media. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to get started. What is the very first thing you can do to get a great photograph? First things first, keep the focus on your pet by staging the scene. You want to clear out any clutter from the background, unless of course it's something that you like and want to be there. But if there were crumbs on the table or something, I might brush those off first, uh, get rid of any like bags in the background or any random stuff. Yeah, I think this clutter is, you know. This is aesthetic. good clutter. This is good clutter. Okay. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> Number two is find your light. Natural light's your friend. If you've got it, definitely use it. Everyone, it's flattering to everyone. Look at us. Yeah, we're using natural light right now. Get it. And if you don't have it, that will bring me to my next tip. Avoid your flash. Just use your phone if you're taking the pictures on your phone. Uh, use your phone's auto adjust feature. If you tap your phone's screen on whatever you're trying to make the focus of your picture, it'll obviously focus it, but it'll also adjust the light. So if there's just a little bit of ambient light, a little bit of natural light that's at dusk, it'll use whatever you've got and it'll make your picture look better. Yeah, so instead of just like breaking out your phone and snapping it really quick, just press on the screen and you're gonna get way better results. I know it's a simple trick, but- So simple. But it's it works. so key. This is probably a really big one for me. In the field, you must not be afraid to sound like an idiot. Make whatever dumb sounds it takes, uh, flap around, whatever's gonna get your cat's attention so they look where you want them to. That could be right at you. Good eye contact, buddy. Or it could be over here if I like waggle a toy or shake a treat bag or uh, tap real funny, whatever it might be. I sound like an idiot all the time and the cats are kind of used to it. All right, and number five, the very last tip. Don't force it. If your cat's not feeling it right then, just come back, give them a break and they'll give you a better shot maybe tomorrow. Or maybe in like five minutes, because you know, the cats can get tired, they can get bored really easily. If you get the cats all riled up, they're not gonna maybe sit where you want them to sit, they're gonna wanna play, right? So they're not gonna wanna pose, especially if you're bringing out treats or catnip, right? Right. So wait five minutes, an hour, until they're like a little bit more sleepy. Okay, bonus tip. Use some psychology to make them think they wanna go wherever it is you're trying to get them to go. That might mean sitting down in a, the chair that you want them to come sit in. That might mean using the toy to get them to chase it over onto that same chair, whatever it takes. Can you make a circle out of tape and then the cats will go to it? It doesn't work on my cat. Well, you maybe, can try. Maybe it'll work on your cat. <laughs> well, Erica, I think all those tips are great and I can't wait to try it. How about we do a little photo shoot? Let's do it. All right. Well, that was awesome. I learned a lot. Did you get some good shots of the cats? Oh my gosh, so many. They're amazing. They're just 
naturals. <laughs> uh, well, I, I like to think so. Um, well, thanks so much. We hope you learned some tricks too. And uh, if you want to check out more of Erica's photography, visit her at Erica Likes Cats on Instagram or ericadanger.com. All right. Well, that about sums it up for this adventure, but let us know what you want to do for our next adventure.